Today, we're gonna learn how to cook a big batch of oven roasted beets. I'm Nick Zem from walk to eat where we help you learn how to simplify healthy living so you can be the best version of yourself. If you're interested in learning more about healthy eating and cooking, then consider subscribing. So not only are beets delicious and healthy, but you can make a ton of puns with them. Uh, just beat it. You can't beat beets. Drop the beet. You know, the list goes on. This oven roasted beets method will give you that juicy, perfect beet. It is simply the best way to cook beets and I've tried a bunch of different ways but I can't stop making beets this way. It's actually a roasting and steaming combination. You're going to add liquid to the cooking process so the beets stay extra juicy and don't dry out. And it's super easy to make a big batch to store in your fridge for the rest of the week and you can add to salads, grain bowls, dips, dressings, or whatever you might use beets for. I actually added a bunch of recipes that use these oven roasted beets below. So let's get started with taking a look at the process. Preheat oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Place beet bulbs in a baking or casserole dish. Then toss with two tablespoons of olive oil and one teaspoon of kosher salt. This recipe works for any amount of beets, but three to four pounds fits great into a nine by 13 dish like this one. Then add a quarter cup of water and cover tightly with foil. Place in your preheated oven and cook for 65 to 75 minutes. You'll know when the beets are done when you can easily slide a fork into the beets just like this. Let cool for a few minutes or you can burn your hands like me because you're too impatient to wait. I mean, look at that steam. Then peel the skin off the beets with a paper towel. It's important to note here that the beets will stain whatever they touch, including your hands and cutting board. If you stain something, rinse it with hot water, the sooner the better, and it should come out. To defend against this, I always try to use a separate surface to work on. This is either a separate cutting board that fits in the sink or dishwasher, or a disposable surface, like here where I'm using the foil. Once the beet is peeled and smooth, set it into a separate bowl. At this point, you can either let the beets fully cool and store them in the refrigerator for up to four days, or use them immediately. If you use the foil for your beet skins and paper towels, you should have an easy cleanup, just like this. Well, except for your hands. These beets are sweet, earthy, and delicious by themselves. But to add a blast of flavor for a quick side dish, cut the beet into wedges. Remember, use a separate cutting board so that you can wash it in the sink or dishwasher. Add the beets to a bowl but don't drop the beet and stain your cutting board. Add a few pinches of kosher salt, a splash of your favorite vinegar, some freshly cracked black pepper, a splash of olive oil, toss, and the beet goes down. Simply put, oven roasting is the best method for learning how to cook vegetables. It's easy to learn, hands off, hard to mess up, and you can even go take a shower or do other chores while the cooking actually happens. In fact, I think oven roasting and mastering that is so important for busy people like you that I made a whole guide on it called Roasted Veggie Mania. This guide shows you everything you need to know for how to buy, store, cook, and transform roasted vegetables. Check out the link below if you're interested. And don't forget, if you like this video and you wanna learn more about cooking healthy and eating healthy, then consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time.